Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Drones Data X Conference in San Francisco. And I'm talking to Tobin Fisher, who's the founder and CEO of Vantage Robotics. How are you doing, Tobin? Very good. Good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, sir. Now, I understand you've got a little quadcopter here, which looks really sweet. Why don't you tell me about it? Sure. So this is Snap. This is the first flying camera in the world that combines high performance with ease of use and practicality. So it's got a gimbal stabilized 4K camera to fly for over 20 minutes fly in high wind, but at the same time it's also extremely safe to use around people. It's extremely easy to use and the whole system folds up. It's also extremely portable. That is amazing how compact that folds up. A lot of effort went into making such a high performance system as small as this is. And you've got a little 4K gimbal on the front there. It's, it's hiding under this hood. Yeah, so this is, to the best of our knowledge, the smallest 4K gimbal in the world. When I saw this just sitting here on the table as I walked by, I thought, oh, that's cute, it's got a camera. I had no conception there was a gimbal in there. That really is impressive. Yeah, that was a non-trivial challenge, trying to make a 37 gram gimbal for a 4K camera. When is this unit going to be available? Not yet, I take it. It's been development for three and a half years now. It's shipping to our beta customers in July. It'll be shipping to our pre-order customers in August and September, and then uh, anyone else who wants it starting in October. Outstanding. Now, how do you control this? I don't see a radio here on the table, so what's your control mode? A couple different ways to control it. You can fly it with your smartphone. You can fly it with a Bluetooth two-stick game controller. You can fly with a DSM controller, or you cannot fly it at all. It'll automatically track you. You can do canned flights, like a big out and back shot or an orbit shot around you. A bunch of different ways to control it. So what's one of these going to cost when they're available? It's $8.95 right now to pre-order customers. It'll be $9.99 when it ships starting in October. And then it, you can buy a range of add-on modules for it uh, to do things like fly for an hour, fly 60 miles an hour. It'll be available starting at the end of this year. Fly for an hour. How do you do that? It's called the endurance rotor set. So this is conceptually kind of like an SLR camera where this is the body, this is the lens. Our endurance rotor set in this metaphor would be the telephoto lens. So it's a little bit bigger. It requires a little more setup time, but it's dead silent in the air and it flies for an hour. That really is impressive. And I like the silence too. I, in my experience, when drones are flying, you're trying to get aerial video, that buzzing can really sort of throw off your subjects. You know, there's a couple things about drones that really throw off the subjects. The buzzing noise is one. Uh, the other is fear is getting your face cut off, uh, <laughs> which is a serious one. And this is having a shroud of repellers completely changes the dynamic. You can be relaxed, have fun, be playful while it's in the air around you. Very cool. Well, looking forward to seeing it in the field. Thanks for taking the time to tell us about it. My pleasure. All right, take care. And from Drones Data X 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again.